what we try to do is bring in the intelligence of a smartphone into a bus stop. So the bus stop has the same kind of capacity to sense, to communicate to the public as a smartphone would do. So the numbers behind me are just demonstrating how far a bus is away. So as further the number is away from the front of the bus stop, as further the bus is away. As brighter the LEDs, the white background are, as fuller the bus is. So it really informs you from a greater kind of distance about the status of your bus when your bus is arriving. The screen in the back is a com community kind of hub. Instead of having an analog notice board you would have whatever in the past, we try to do a local location-based Facebook where people from a community can upload their, their information, their garage sales, their, their sporting kind of events to communicate within a neighborhood. Another feature we have in there is that a camera will monitor and see what happens on your bus stop, but also monitors what happens on other bus stops. So instead of sitting alone in the middle of the night, you've been able to see other people in other bus stops and to communicate and watch each other out so you get a more safe feeling within the bus stop. So we're working closely with Transport for New South Wales, City of Sydney, Arup and Grimshaw Architect. We've been working with them closely for the last two years and they've had a lot of exposure to really exciting, interesting student projects and we've both been getting a lot out of the relationship. I think it's great to be able to uh, go do the full uh, process from design to production. I think that helps students understand why we do certain things in design, why detailing is important and to make sure that everything sort of comes together and shows that the computational design and digital fabrication process, because of its accuracy, you can actually create very complex projects. I see the future in public transport infrastructure that all infrastructure items like bus stops, tram stops, train station are connected to each other. So one train station can tell another kind of bus stop about the occupancy, how many people will come. You want to have real time and live information in a public transport environment.